Hello, everybody. Hello, how are you today, Rafael? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Are you? I'm doing fine, thank you for asking. How was your weekend? It was fine. Excellent, very good, I'm glad to hear that. And you, Raul Reyes, how are you today? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, nice. Yes, I uh, have a problem with my car, but... Oh, what happened? Your car broke down? Uh, yes, broke down. And the caja de velocidad, how do you say caja de velocidad? The, the, yes, the stick shift. Stick the shift. shift. Right? Mm -hmm. Or oh, the uh, transmission, the transmission. Transmission, the transmission broke down. The oh. Transmission. Or oh, get yes. transmission or the uh, clutch. Transmission. Oh, okay. So you have a, a, an automatic automatic car. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Very good. Yes. Transmissions are the uh, sometimes very hard. Uh, yeah. Yes. All right. And um, and tell me what um, what are you doing after class? What are you doing after class? Raul Reyes, what are you doing after class? Um, I, I was um, after is yes, what what are you doing after class? Yes. Um, I just read a, a book. Oh, so and you will. Then I sleep. I was, I was... Oh, okay, you will read a book after class. Very good. Yes. Excellent. And Rafael, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm going to work early. Oh my, oh my goodness. You're going to go to work very early. Early. How early? Uh, about 7 a.m. Uh, 7 a.m. Okay, very good. And Yolanda, what are you doing this weekend? What are what, you doing? Okay, so what? Yes, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, maybe I will work uh, on Saturday. Maybe. You um, okay. uh, yes, maybe. Okay. <laughs> it depends on the of my meeting. Oh, I and the then on Sunday, I think. Uh, we, oh, my family and I, uh, are going to walk around the city. Oh, very good. That sounds like a very With good... With our pets. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> How many pets do you have? Uh, we have nine pets, nine dogs. Nine dogs. Are they with you tonight? Are yes. they with you? All of them are here. <laughs> Oh my Around God, me. all over you, huh? Very good, excellent, oh my God. And uh, so do you know their names or sometimes do you forget uh, what their names are? Mm, no, always I remember the name. <laughs> all right, <laughs> okay. it's always good to know the names of your pets. Very good, thank you, Yolanda. Yes. And Elvis, Elvis okay. Abrego, are you doing anything tomorrow? Uh, yes, teacher. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm going to work. Are you going to work early in the morning or late? What time do you work? In the morning. In the morning, I, in the morning. I, I start to work at 7 a.m. Okay, 7 a.m. Very good. That's very early. It's yes, just it's like Raphael. In the factory. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Very, very good. Very good. And uh, thank you, uh, Elvis. And Crisia Munoz, are you doing are you doing anything this weekend? A special. Oh, just anything. Anything. I just going to work. 
Okay. And On the weekend. Yes. From mm -hmm. Monday to Friday. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, yeah. and very good. Thank you very much. And Monica, what are you doing tomorrow? I gonna work. <laughs> You're gonna work. Okay. Very good. Yeah. So, you know, taking off. I'm very tired right now. Oh, you are very tired. I'm very okay. tired right now. I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. And where is the baby? What is the baby doing? With my husband, I eating. You are right eating. now. <laughs> my goodness, what are you eating? Now my baby and my husband, oh, they are eating. They are eating right now. Cereal. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds great. Sounds good. Yes. Yeah. That's even every time, every time they are. <laughs> okay, very good. So yeah. you, sh you should be happy, huh? Because they're with you. That's a that's yeah. a blessing. That's a blessing. Very good. Okay, very good. Yeah, a blessing. Excellent. And Noemi Yesenia, any plans for tomorrow? Excuse me. Are you doing any plans for tomorrow? I can hear you clearly. Oh, I'm sorry. Are <laughs> you doing any plans for tomorrow? Uh, for tomorrow, yes, I want to work every day. I need to finish some reports. You need to finish 24. Some reports. Oh, okay. Some reports. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So you're going to be busy tomorrow. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Okay. So um, today... We are going to be talking about uh, future plans. How do we make uh, future plans? And um, how to, can we express uh, any uh, plans that we might have for the next day or the next morning or the next uh, week or next month? And uh, there are two ways to express uh, future plans. Um, can anybody tell me one of those two ways? Anybody? Uh, you can you can use will and going. I I learn the verb to be. Okay. Anybody else? Thank you, Yolanda. Anybody else? Yes, going is the short time and. Will is large time. Okay, so we're gonna learn two ways to express future plans. Yeah, two ways to express future plans. Yes, we're gonna be. Uh, <coughs> looking at two ways to express future plans. I, I was asking you, um, what are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tonight after class? Um, I was asking you, um, do you have any plans for this weekend? Yes, are you doing anything tomorrow? Yes, um, are you going to work? Are you going to work to go to work tomorrow? And um, those are the uh, questions that uh, we usually ask, uh, use to ask uh, uh, whenever we want somebody to express if they have something to do. Future plans. Yes, we tonight we're not uh, using will. What we're going to be using is uh, we're going to be using um, um, continuous, present continuous that Laura says, continuous. The present continuous and we're going to be using be going to. Those are the two ways uh, that we're going to use to express future plans. Yes. So one ex example, an example, what are you doing? What are you doing tonight? 
Yes. What are you doing tonight? Yeah. That is future, right? Not at this moment. What are you doing tonight? Until what time is uh, night? Until midnight. So tonight. ¿Qué vas a hacer esta noche? Vas a hacer esta noche. What are you doing tonight? So that would be asking a question. Um, the other one is, uh, are you doing anything tomorrow? Yes. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Yes. Another future question. Future to asking you for future plans. When is this going to happen? Tomorrow. What are you doing tonight? When is going to happen? Tonight. But not right now, at this moment. It's for future. So those are the uh, uh, present continuous and be going to. But we're going to look at it uh, in more um, in more details. So with the present continuous, we're going to take a look at uh, first with the present continuous. Present continuous. With um, the present continuous, continuous, The questions that we ask is, what are you doing tonight? That would be the present continuous that uh, Yolanda says. Yolanda says, oh, we're using the gerund. The gerund is the ing. So it's the verb plus the ing. We have the verb over here. We have the verb over here plus the ing. Okay, so that is when we are using the present continuous. So what would be the answer? I ask you, one of you, what are you doing tonight after class? In? I am watching TV. Yeah, but not only I am watching TV. It's the future. So, I'm going. There we go. I am going. Because if I put I'm watching TV, this is present continuous. I'm viendo. That's present continuous. Yes. But we're talking about the future. So the future is I am going, going to. I'm watch. going to. Yes, I'm going to watch. watch Watch TV. I'm going to watch TV. Yes. I'm going to watch TV. Now that will be the present continuous. I'm going to watch TV. And tonight, what is tonight in this sentence? Let's see if we can recognize. What is tonight in this sentence? Anybody? What is tonight in this sentence? It's a verb. Complement. It's, a, it's an complement, huh? It's a verb. It's an adverb. It's a, a object pronoun. It's a pronoun. It's a what else? It's a preposition of place. Uh, it's a connection word. Um, it's a time expression. It's an adverb. It's a time expression. A time expression. Very good. Expression. Yes. It's a time expression. We learned about the time expressions in the beginning. The beginning classes. We learned time expression. So tonight in this sentence is a time expression that indicate when that action is going to happen. And when it's going to happen, it is going to happen tonight. Yes. When? In the future of tonight. What are you doing tonight? Ah, I'm going to watch TV. Okay. I'm going to watch. When? When are you going to watch TV? Tonight. Yes. Okay. The other one would be, 
Um, are you doing anything tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay. What are you doing? Any are you doing anything tomorrow? And the question can be negative answer, or can be positive answer, or can be neither negative, neither positive, impartial. So we can say, I am, I am what? No, let's do a negative. No, I'm not. Yes, are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. Or I can say, maybe, maybe. Remember maybe? We were learning maybe on the may and be. Yes. Maybe. Yes. What is maybe? Yes. Yes, it's a possibility, right? Maybe yes, maybe no. Yes, tal vez. Yeah. Maybe yes, maybe no. Yeah. Posiblemente sí, posiblemente no. Yes, entonces possibility. So the answer can be Teacher. Yes, ma'am. Me? Yes. Uh, in this question, are you doing anything tomorrow? Um is is um, I think probably it will be, are you going to do anything tomorrow? Okay, remember, right. we, are, we are doing two ways to express future plan. Present continuous uh -huh. and be going to. Right now, what are we doing with the present continuous? Uh -huh. So... O sea que... O sea que solo si al verbo le, le agregamos el ing es lo que está diciendo usted ahorita. With the present continuous. Ya es. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's future. Yes. So if I want to ask a question with the going to, be going to, uh -huh. then I will change this one to what are you going, are you going to what are you going to be? Yes, what are you going to? Then I have to change this uh, sentence. That is the, 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 next, the next explanation. Right now, we're working with the, uh, the present continuous. And it's a good question because now you, you know where we are, we are heading to. Okay? Uh, so. I look. <laughs> okay, okay. So... So the answer to this, uh, so the answer to this one, are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I am not. I'm sorry. This is no, I am, I'm not. Oh, maybe, which is neutral. Yes, maybe, yes, maybe no. Or it can be a positive. Yes. Yes, uh -huh. I am. Yes, I am. Yeah. So that will be with the present continuous. Now. We're gonna do the same thing, but with the going to. Now with be going to. This is the other way of expressing future plans. Mm -hmm. Be going to. This one, we're gonna add plus the verb, infinitive verb. That's the verb, okay? So in this case, we're going to ask him, what is Chrysia? What is Chrysia? Chrysia. Chrysia. What is Chrysia? Going to, going to do on Friday. What is Chrissy going to do on Friday? And what is on Friday in this sentence? What is it? Yolanda, what is it? Mm -hmm. 
what is on Friday in this sentence? Time, ex time expression. Thank you, time expression, yes. Time expression. What is tomorrow in this sentence? Is it the same? The same, time expression. It's a time expression. Very good. Okay, now let's see. What is Chrysia going to do on Friday? Yeah, and Chrysia say, well, I'm planning to, well, I'm planning to visit my family because uh, I work in San Salvador and my family lives in, in, uh, in Santa Ana or La Unión. So what is her plan? She, she, or I'm going to write, she is going to visit her family. Yeah. yeah. She is going to visit her family. Hmm? She is going to visit her family. What is Chrysia going to do? Okay, so this is different from the other one, right? What is Chrysia going to do on Friday? I could ask this one, what is Chrysia doing on Friday? With the present continuous. What is Chrysia doing <laughs> on Friday? That would be with the present continuous. What is Chrysia doing on Friday? But we're not using the present continuous. We are using be going to plus the verb. What is Grisia going to do on Friday? She's going to visit her family. Okay. Y le pregunté yo a, a, a Yolanda. Dije, are Yolanda, Yolanda, are you going to work from the work going to work this weekend weekend are you going to work this weekend yolanda are you going to work this weekend no i am not okay no she said no i am not okay and but we have three options right she said no no, no, no. i'm i'm not yeah. Oh, she could said. Um, yes. yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, uh -huh. yes, I am. I am. Or neutral. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. That would be neutral. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Si ella se da cuenta que la persona que le está preguntando es porque la va a visitar ese día. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> This is maybe, maybe. Yeah, okay. So, Yolanda, are you going to work this weekend? No, I am not. Yes, I am. Oh, maybe. Yes. So, do you see the difference, uh, uh, Christian? So, if I'm, if I'm using the, uh, the uh, present continuous on this question, I will, I will say, Yolanda, are you working this weekend? See, it's different. Are you working this weekend? Instead of, are you going to work this weekend? So that's the difference uh, of using um, present continuous and be going to. Estamos bien hasta aquí, are we okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna erase this one, and now we're gonna see how. No, teacher. <laughs> do we? Huh? I I well, didn't finish to to copy. <laughs> I'm sorry, pero yo pregunté y me dijeron ya yeah, todo. <laughs> no, no, but I no, no, but no hay problema. In the in YouTube, I gonna. Oh yeah, no, yes, okay. yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Voy a esperarme un más tiempo, ¿verdad? Okay. okay, how to form be 
going to. How to form be going to. That's what we're going to learn. So the, uh, the structure is subject plus to be plus going to plus verb. infinitive verb. That's the infinitive verb. So that is the structure of the be going to. Subject plus to be plus going to plus infinitive verb. So if you're going to do something, if you're you're going to do something um, next week, what do you do? How do you say it, Noemi? You're saying it. future plans. Remember, you're making future plans and using going to be going to. How would you say it if you have a, a plan to do something uh, uh, next week? Next week is what in that sentence? Is uh, an expression, right? I going to visit uh, my coworker. I I going to visit my coworker. Workers. I'm. I going to visit my coworker. Is that correct, uh, uh, Rafael? I'm. I'm. I said I'm. I'm. Yes, I'm. Yes, okay. I'm. I'm. Si yo digo, I going to work. Uh, okay, I'm. Very good. So let's see. For just for educational purposes, we are not going to do the um, the contraction over here. Yes. No. But you said it right. No, you're right. I'm just. For educational purposes, I'm gonna uh, um, unscramble this one. So over here we have the subject. Yes, the subject is right here. I'm. We have the subject. Then we have the verb to be, which is am. Yes. Then we have the going to. Very good. Going to. Uh -huh. Then we have the infinitive uh -huh. verb visit. Yes. Going to visit is the the infinitive verb and. Then we have the uh, complement. Very good, excellent. So now you know how to make future plans. I'm going to visit my co-workers. Yes. And um, eh, ¿cómo le preguntamos a Rafael y Yolanda si él va a trabajar este fin de semana? Rafael. Yes, uh, are you working? Are you working uh, this weekend? Okay, very good. Rafael, are you working this weekend? Ahora vamos a comparar esto con la estructura que tenemos. Tenemos el subject, very good. Tenemos el subject aquí. Tenemos el verbo to be, very good. Tenemos el verbo to be aquí. Ok, tenemos el going to. ¿Dónde está el going to aquí? Oh my goodness. Se me olvidó. Primero. Are you going to work? Are you going to work? There we go. This Very weekend. Good. Very good. Sí, porque nosotros estamos acostumbrados a hacerlo así, ¿verdad? Are you, are you working this weekend using el present continuous? Yes. Hoy estamos aprendiendo okay. que hay dos formas de hacerlo. You are not wrong, Yolanda. No estás mal, pero no estás aplicando lo que estamos haciendo. Es todo. Yeah, pero... Estoy muy mal. No, 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 no. Estás bien porque, mira, mira lo que dice ahí, okay. Rafael. Sí, dice. No. ¿Cómo se apunta? No. Ya me he entonces, no, que lo estamos usando de otro formato. Ahora, entonces, ¿cómo componemos este, Noemí? Rafael, are you, you hmm? are you going to going to work to work this weekend, verdad? Y qué es this weekend in this sentence? Time expression. Time. Time expression. <risa> Se yo como, como ese de, de, de radio estación, Yolanda. ¿eh? Time expression. Like <risa> <risa> <Yeah, huh? risa> Very sexy. Yeah. Open my, my microphone. 
<laughs> time expression, very good. Time expression. expression. Very good. Rafael, are you going to work this weekend? Y Rafael, ¿qué dice? ¿Cuáles son las uh, 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 options, options que tenemos? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yes. No. Or maybe. There we go. No. I'm not. Or maybe. It's the, the most, uh, we are just uh, writing this one but for educational purposes. So you can see it and you can uh, structure yourself and you know that you can, you have those three options. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Maybe. Yes. Okay. And that's uh, very good. Excellent. So when, uh, what do we do when making questions? When uh, uh, making questions? Questions with uh, WH. With WH question. We're making question with WH. What is on those WH uh, questions? What? What, where, when, where? why? Who? Who, how? Who? Yes. Okay. So in that case, we're going to do the WH first. Then the rest is the same. Yes. Plus uh, B. Plus subject, plus verb, plus ing, plus complement, plus complement. So that will be the structure that we're going to be using when 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 we are adding the wh question. So so um. Noemi is, um, I don't know, is having a baby shower. No, verdad, Noemi, no, no. Let's, let's pretend, let's, let's pretend eh? she's having a baby shower. <laughs> yes, y um, alguien le quiere preguntar de su baby shower, ¿dónde lo va, dónde va a ser el baby shower de ella? Me teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Where is... Where is it going to to make your baby shower? Where is can you repeat uh, the sentence, please? Where is it going? Where is is it going to make your baby shower? Your Yes, Dagoberto. Dagoberto. Dagoberto, yes. Rodriguez. Where are you going? Yes, yes, I, I can, I can hear. Yes. Okay. Yes. No. Okay. Where are you going to make your baby shower? Where? Very good. Where? Are you going to celebrate, brother? Right? Celebrate. Ah, to celebrate. Yes, to celebrate. Yes. Where, me, lo, me lo estaba diciendo en español. ¿Dónde vas a hacer tu, verdad? Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, en español. Entonces, where are you going to celebrate your baby shower? And question mark to finish. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Uh, where are you going to celebrate your baby shower? So, si lo comparamos aquí a la structure que eh, tenemos, tenemos uh, WH question, si la tenemos aquí, very good. Tenemos la B, yes, aquí está. Tenemos el subject, very good. El going to, yes. El go plus ING, aquí está el verbo, plus ING. Y el complement, to celebrate your baby shower. Yes. Estamos bien ahí, yeah. Where are you going? Oh, where are you celebrating? También lo podemos decir. Yes. Entonces vamos a poner esta. Where are you? Vamos a poner aquí. Yes. Celebrating. Pero si lo dice así, es como que lo está haciendo en este momento. ¿A where? dónde lo está celebrando? ¿Dónde? Where are you celebrating? 
Este que present continuous. Very good. Present continuous. To express future plans. Very good, Naomi. Present continuous to express future plans. ¿Cuál es lo que hace que sea un future plan este? He was going to. Where. Where es lo que me hace. Where. Porque no está en ese momento, ¿verdad? Porque si le quito el where, entonces, are you celebrating your baby shower? Eso en el momento. Yes. Pero using present continuous para express future plan con la WH question es de esta forma. Ya lo vamos a hacer de la otra forma como me lo dijeron. Okay. Entonces vamos a ver. WH question. Yes, aquí está. Verb to be. Yes, aquí está. The structure is incorrect, teacher. ¿Ah? I believe the structure is incorrect because verb plus ing is the same to use going to. No. Plus in verb in this case when you use going to. Yes. As the okay. last example. Okay. So look look at this one. Do we have wh question aquí? Yes. Where? Do we have verb to be aquí over here? Yes, el R. Do we have the subject over here? Yes, we have the subject. Do we have the verb over here? Yes. Yes, we have celebrate. Yes, celebrate. Do we have the ING over here? Yes, we have the ING. And do you have the complement? Your baby shower? Yes. Entonces tenemos todos los complementos que necesitamos. Ahora vamos a ver la otra estructura que aprendimos, the other structure. Yes. You may ask también. Acuérdense que esto es correcto. No, 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 voy a borrar, no, voy a borrar. no, no, estoy borrando, no, wait, no, wait, wait, no, voy a borrar. no, no, estoy borrando. La otra, la otra structure Ay, es my God, this is no, 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 Plus infinitive verb plus complement. 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 But in this case, teacher, uh, I, I think uh, Rafael told uh, the sentences, the sentences in the right form or yes. not. Uh -huh. oh, yes. Okay. Ahora, we're going to do the way that uh, Dagoberto um, gave me the sentence. So we're looking at uh, two ways of uh, giving out the sentence. Both, of, both ways are correct. It depends which one you want to use, but the structure has to be the correct structure. So in this case, we're going to do the same question. Where are you? Where? Where are you? Yes. Going to celebrate. Yes. Going power. to. Yes. Celebrate. 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 Your baby shower. Okay, where are you going to celebrate? The other one, remember this says, where are you celebrating? Yeah, it's, 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 it's the right way. But if you say, where are you going to be celebrating? Your baby shower is incorrect. So in this case, where are you going to celebrate your baby shower? That is the structure that, this is the second structure. WH question, the verb to be, the subject right here, the going to, yes, going to, and the infinitive verb, celebrate, and the complement, your baby shower. Yes? Can you see the difference? Can you see um, the difference between uh, uh, present continuous and the uh, going to? In both cases, the answer will be the same. 
Yeah, yes, it depends. Yes, it would be um, at. Um, uh, I'm at, going uh, to celebrate my baby shower on San Salvador, for example. At the Crown Plaza. Yes, at the Crown Plaza. Yes. Yes, it's the same same answer to the question. Okay, so those are the both ways that you can uh, uh, express future plans. And you can ask questions about future plans. And um, if you can memorize uh, those structures, it will help you to uh, see the difference whenever uh, you see something uh, in, in writing or whenever you are expressing yourself. You can say, I am going to uh, play soccer this weekend. Oh, I am playing soccer this weekend. See, same same thing, but in different structure. Which one is the the best one to? It hey, depends. Which one do you feel better? Which one do you like the most? Okay, so those are the the two structures that uh, we um, we learned today. Uh, any question or any doubts? or any curiosity that you might have regard to this structure. No? But that both of these, uh, both of these uh, structure? Uh, uh, question structure uh -huh. are the same, the same meaning. Same They're, meaning, yes, same meaning. The, the same, are in the same, well, the same form. Yes. Or you can say, you can say to, or what is the difference? This one and uh, where will you celebrate your baby shower? Is in the future too. Where will you celebrate? But the, remember the when we say will, that is something that uh, maybe happen or maybe not. Uh, doesn't happen. It's like a way where okay, you sure. where you might celebrate your birthday where you might yeah. and yeah. going okay. through is something that uh, you know that's going to happen yeah i will celebrate my birthday at the crown plaza but it if it doesn't happen well not nothing happened yes or for example mm -hmm. i i will go to the usa yeah now my question is uh, do you already have uh, purchased your the airplane ticket not yet but when you say hey i'm going to the usa yeah you have the tickets in your hand hey I'm uh, going okay to you are um, you are affirmative that it's yeah mm -hmm. it will be a fact yes a fact yes uh -huh. correct uh -huh. okay very good okay all right good question my goodness you're good you guys are good all right.